Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are outside our headquarters and we are in Puerto Rico. So let me flip this quick. And that's what we have, rain. And we have a 2010 Civic, fully neglected. Headlights looking bad, few scratches, dull trim dull surfaces uh, there's no shine whatsoever wheels fully neglected the whole side the glass so what we're going to be doing is we found a polisher but unfortunately it's a two-speed sander polisher with this type of pads which i don't think that we can use so we're going to attempt to use these ones with the sweat remover on the headlights Otherwise, this video is going to be how we're going to do a resurrection on this thing by hand. And what we have here today, we have a few sample products. We got the king, the sweat remover, we had the paint sealant, and we had the tire dressing. So we're going to go all by hand, and then we're going to use these guys over here that we were able to find in a local shop that sells the Turbo Wax brand down here in Puerto Rico. So we have the shampoo, we got the wheel cleaner, and we're gonna finish her up with the ceramic. And then we have a oxidation block or clay block that is at the last stage, but we're gonna use that. So we're gonna wash her, we're gonna use the clay block, and then we're gonna go at it and see how far we can go by hand. So let me get it here, side view, right here again. Fully bad, look at the size, there's no shine. Back here, and look at the outside, but, but nevertheless, right here, let's see, we don't see any clarity whatsoever. So I don't know what we're gonna be able to do, but we should be able to do something. So all by hand. So let's jump into right now and see what we are able to do for the Civic. So by hand, step by step and we go so let's flip this thing around we start with the washing clay block sweat remover turbo wax paint sealant extreme and we're going to finish up with our latest product which is the ceramic spray so let's see if we can make a turnaround on these things and we're going to try to do the entire job by hand All right, we go with the clay block. Listen to this. Fully contaminated. Sounds like sandpaper. So we're gonna go on until we don't hear any of that noise anymore. That would be an indication that we got the surface with all the contaminants out. Wow, real bad, real bad. All right, so we're looking good and fun fact, wheel cleaner the look is safe on painted surfaces. And uh, we have a video about the wheel cleaner against the iron remover. And because we don't have any tools, we're doing this job by hand. We're simply gonna apply the wheel cleaner directly to the surface to aid the clay block and we should be good to go. It's not something that we like to do or, or recommend it to do, but if you need to do it like we are doing it right now because if there's a need, you will be fine right here. So we're gonna go like so, and then we're gonna go with the clay block and listen to this now. The surface is becoming ready for us. So we will continue. So that's a, a little trick because we are doing the entire job by hand so let's see what results we can we can do look at this it's already looking phenomenal so we go all right so the headlights by hand big improvement but they really need to be sanded down and so on but we are going all out by hand over there and she's already looking good here now we're going to try to do something with this glass all by hand see what we can come up with see if we can enhance this 
All right, we want to do a 50-50 shot on the tires and the wheel, just with the wheel cleaner deluxe. So let's see what happens here, and uh, and then take a few pictures also. So let's see, just with the wheel cleaner. gonna do half right now all right so we have a little mix of the sweat remover and the paint sealant together and she is looking alive with the wheels the glass we put the same thing so we're gonna let it set then we're gonna go over a microfiber take all that out and then we're gonna put one more coat just of the paint sealant and then after that we're gonna put a splash of the turbo wax ceramic spray CT1 and tomorrow we should have something nice it's already looking very very nice compared to what we had all right we ran out of light but she's looking nice let's see tomorrow morning if we get a better view all done by hand all right and a view inside the garage and uh, compared to what we had beautiful so we went with the oxidation block as you saw and then we, we had quite a bit of contamination on top so we used the wheel cleaner it's safe for painted surfaces so we went at it with that then we went with the turbo wax foam shampoo and then we did a mix of the swell remover pro x and the paint seal and extreme all together by hand and then we removed that and we passed the prep oil and then we went again with the paint seal and extreme all done with this little applicator here we did the headlights the same way so obviously to to get it completely done properly we should have to use machines and different pads and stuff that we don't have so we just wanted to do it all by hand and record that and the plastic trim we put the t2 and we got the chickens and the roosters on the neighborhood and everything else so there's the wheels and the glass you remember that was all uh, you know stained it's a lot better not perfect but better and here's a little sample of the t2 and the before and after right there before and after we're going to finish that up now and all the, all the trim was covered so a major major improvement but and the point of the video is that you know you can do the work by hand the tail lights came out nice the roof and everything else so and there she is the civic all right so you can see i have a little sun enjoying the island and the work so please check us online turbowax.com don't forget to check us on instagram turbowax and until the next time